Rochelle Mommy here today to do an unboxing for all of you. I have a double unboxing, you guys. Both of these boxes contain beautiful bags, or a beautiful bag each, from Portland Leather Goods. And I'll tell you, I have been really into boutique leather bags lately, small shops that make just gorgeous, full grain leather bags. And Portland Leather Goods is one of my favorite boutique, like for lack of a term, boutique leather shops that I just absolutely adore. Um, I am a brand new Portland Leather Goods affiliate and their affiliate program runs a very short amount of time So I'm not gonna be an affiliate with them for very long These two bags were gifted to me, but in that you guys in that I have a 25% off code for you I will go ahead and put it right here. It is perpetual mommy and it does again save you 25% off your full price order So not on like the mystery boxes or their you know almost perfect items because those are already greatly discounted but on your full price items it will save you 25 percent i don't know how long i'm going to be affiliate with them because again their program is for a very brief amount of time so it's not like some of the other brands where it's just indefinite as long as you're you know meeting requirements and this kind of stuff this is a short contract you guys so i don't normally you know do my intros like that and tell you but i do want to let you guys know if you want to use that code got to jump on it and because it is an affiliate link you guys it costs cost you nothing to use but I do earn a small amount of commission off of any sale that I get with that. So I wanna be really transparent to you guys. But you guys know I love Portland Leather Goods. I will up in the iCards above and down in the description box below, put my Portland Leather Goods playlist, you guys, where I talk all about why I found Portland Leather Goods, why I bought my first bag from them, why I continued to buy bags from them. And there's some packing videos in there as well for all kinds of goodness, you guys. So go ahead and check out that playlist. And again, especially the first like two or three videos, I just gush and gush and gush about why I love Portland Leather Goods. So again, go ahead and check that out. Now, this is an unboxing. I haven't looked in either one of these, but what you'll notice is this one's already like flapped open. I haven't peeked inside. Promise you on everything I love, I haven't peeked inside. But my son, my only son, I have three girls and one boy, he's about to start college. And I told him his class books, his textbooks had arrived because they came in the mail and he thought this was his textbook box. So he ripped into it like a savage. So, you know, it's ripped open, but I haven't peeked. This one is not because he immediately realized the error of his ways and that this was the wrong size for a textbook box. But let's go ahead and jump on in you guys. So in one of the boxes is a zippered crossbody tote in sunflower. I've never owned a full sized crossbody tote from Portland Leather Goods. And then the other one, I think is the bottom one, I think is the tote backpack in Nutmeg. And I've also never owned a tote backpack. I've known, never owned any of the Portland Leather Goods backpacks. So let's go ahead and get on in. I think that this one, let's check the, let's check the side. This is the sunflower, so that is correct. All right, so let's go ahead and do that one first. And I'm super excited. I've been really into yellow lately, so I really have been wanting to see this. And the other interesting thing is I only have ever owned pebbled leather by Portland Leather Goods. I love pebbled leather. It, you know, it just, it speaks to my soul. I love the soft squishiness of it. Sunflower is a smooth leather. So I'm about to see for the first time what I think of their smooth leather. Oh, so it didn't get all the way into it. There we go. Um, I'm about to see what I think of it for the first time. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Um, normally, when you get a Portland Leather Goods package, it will have a pamphlet, like right here, that talks about leather care and other stuff. It's underneath. Let's check. Nope. It doesn't have it. Oh, it doesn't have it? Oh, it does. It's underneath. It just fell. So this is normally sitting right on top of your box. It talks about leather care and thank you, and it's just, it's a really great informational pamphlet. This box smells so good. I love the smell of Portland Leather Portland Leather Goods leather. All right, so this is how their bags all come, wrapped in tissue. I'm so excited. So excited. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I have to take a look at it, you guys. I have to smell it. Oh, it smells so beautiful. Okay, so... I know that their pebbled leather is very soft, very squishy, very supple, like just, just smooshy, right? And people have talked about how the smooth leather is a little bit more structured. I will tell you, it does feel a little bit more structured, but it is still really soft. And this color is gorgeous. It's like, it is definitely like a sunflower color. Like it is stunning. Let me see here. I just did a video on um, Vera Bradley 
and this is their sunflower and look at how pretty look how pretty that is together oh my goodness i cannot wait to back this bag up okay so let's go ahead and take a look at it so this is a full-size zipper tote so you have one really nice slip pocket on the outside and then you have the two shoulder straps right here and I'll go ahead, I can't remember right now, I'll go ahead and put the drop link for the shoulder straps right here once I find it. I want to say that it's, uh, I'm not even going to guess, I don't know to you. Let's paper. Oh my god, I wish there was smell vision I say that in all my leather videos because this bag just smells so good. Now what you'll see here is that inside the bag there are two o-rings or d-rings i think these are they are d-rings or not o-rings and attached you have a swivel swivel clip with a strap so you can wear this bag cross body or over the shoulder with the strap with a removable strap or with the tote handle so you can carry it over the shoulder so you have the cross body option with the strap and over the shoulder or over the shoulder with the tote straps and then inside the bag the only organization you have is this one hanging slip pocket and that's where you have the Portland Leather Goods logo so let you take a look at right there oh my gosh this, this bag is just so beautiful so beautiful so inside the bag you'll notice that it's unfinished so you have the unfinished natural side of the leather people say some people like to call it suede it's not suede it's just the natural unfinished side of the leather and it is just perfection um, this bag does have a seam at the bottom. There's no feet. And let's check out the zipper. Let's zip it for the first time, you guys. Let, let's check and see how smooth the zipper is. Here we go. You guys ready? Here we go. Okay, it's a nice zipper. It's a nice zipper. Tuck the tail in. And so what's nice about the, the where they place the D-rings, you guys, is if you undo the strap, you won't be able to see the D-rings. They tuck inside the bag, so you wouldn't even see them. So if you just wanted to carry it with the tote handles, you could. And if you want to change out that strap for another strap, you can easily. This is stunning. I cannot wait to carry this. So beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and open the tote backpack. Okay, so this is going to be the tote backpack and nutmeg. Now, nutmeg is a pebbled leather. I do own a full-size tote, so I own the large tote in the nutmeg. So, not the crossbody tote, just the standard. I own the standard zipper tote in nutmeg in a size large. It's gorgeous. I actually have a packing video on it. So, again, if you checked the description box down below in that playlist, you will see that packing video. I love this color. Um, but again, I haven't seen any of the backpacks in real life, so I'm super excited. And this is going to be the tote backpack. So let's go ahead and get into this one. Okay, so this one had the card right on top, like where you normally find it. This card's different. Let me find the other one. That's curious. Look. Okay, interesting. Very cool. Let's go ahead and pull this out. And again, you have this great tissue right here. This is how they protect their bags. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Giving it the sniff test. I'm going to tell you, this nutmeg is a lot darker than the nutmeg that I have from before. So, you know, with each hide, the color changes. So, this is a gorgeous color. You do have the contrasting zipper right here with the cream versus the nutmeg. I really like that look. Um... But this is a much deeper nutmeg. It's like, and you can see where the, the striations, where their coloring is different. I really like that. It's got personality. Just checking the pebbling. So this is, again, a pebbled leather. And because this is full grain leather, you guys, so full grain leather is going to have natural markings. Certain parts of the leather are going to take the dye different than other sections. And I think that's one of the things that makes leather so wonderful. 
Now I did know this before I got it. When you get one of their backpack bags, it adjusts with a clip and you actually have to thread your bag. We're just gonna guess because I've never, I've never worn one before, but let's go ahead and just like guess. I'm gonna make it pretty big because my husband carries all my bags for me. So I wanna make sure that it can fit both of us. He's a big guy. He's almost six foot and like 240 pounds. So we gotta make sure, make sure it fits him too. And hubby likes leather, don't you hubby? He records all my videos, so he's sitting right here listening to me talk about him. Maybe be proud of us, guys. For those of you who watch my videos, we normally record between 2 and 4 in the morning. And I think it's like midnight, maybe 1 o'clock right now. So it's early for us. I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to do this like awkwardly sitting here. Let's see here, this is actually a very easy thing to do. This might be too big for me, but we'll see. Well, don't do this like me, you guys, upside down and sitting awkwardly on the floor. Okay, there we go. All right, so on the back of the bag, you do have this grab handle, which is really nice. I love all of my backpacks to have a grab handle. This one has one. There is no zipper pocket or anything on the back side. And then this is the front of the bag. And their backpacks are really, like, this backpack in particular is really just like a, a tote with backpack straps on it. But I just think it's just so cute. It's such a great size. Let's go ahead and take a look here. The inside. It's a really nice pocket. I'll let you go ahead and take a look in here. And again, it's the unfinished leather on the inside. Okay, so because this is pebbled leather, this bag is much more smushy and like squishy than the sunflower, but they're both very, very soft. And this one has a, a free floating pocket as well on the inside, again, with that heat embossed stamp, Portland leather, or Portland leather goods. And I really like the pocket. Before I ever packed up my first Portland leather goods bag, I wasn't sure I would like that pocket. But I really find it great for quick things and even sometimes my cell phone or my like slim wallets to put in there. It's just a really nice thing to have. But let me go ahead and stand the bag straight up and make it a shot straight down inside. Let's see if we can make that work for you. So this is the bottom of the bag here that we were just looking at on the inside. And I just, I love the character on this bag. I just, it's so pretty and it's just really interesting again how the color is just so different on this one than on my nutmeg tote bag that I have. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. So just to say hi, I'd love to say hi to all of you. I do respond to all the comments. I try really hard to do that. I'd love to hear what your favorite Portland Leather Goods bag style is, color is, leather is, or you know what bag style you're hoping to get next or to try for the first time. And also if you have one of these two that you'd like to see packed up first, I'd love to do that for you as well. And go ahead and, again and check the description box for that full playlist that I have, because I already have several videos up for Portland Leather Goods. But you guys, this brand is so good, and I wish you could smell that my house right now, because these bags are just smelling so good. And I cannot believe how much I love the smooth leather. I thought I was a pebbled girl through and through, but this color and this, it's just, it's soft, but it's not smushy, but it's still supple. I don't know how to explain it. And then this is just like a big puddle. So it just depends on what you like. And the thing on Portland Leather Goods on their website, they do when you pick a leather, there's a nice graph that tells you like in relation how firm the leather is, how soft or how firm it is. So that really helps you let you know, you know, do you like a firmer leather? Do you like something that's gonna always be structured and stand up? Or do you like something that's gonna kind of smush and give? I thought I was a smush and give kind of girl, but I don't know you guys, this one's speaking to me. Well, that's it for me, you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.